income is there, and that's something else you have to establish within yourself. So how do you do that, Chef? Okay, I'm glad you asked. It is fantastic. Excellent. It was there is where I defined what kind of chef I wanted to be. Fine dining. I don't want to be a caterer. Um, I wanted to do fine dining. So good. What are we making? Uh, I can't tell you yet, because okay. he's, he's looking over my Oh, no, no. <laughs> It was almost like yesterday, I remember, in the hospital in New York City, diagnosed with kidney failure, and didn't know what was going to happen. Tomorrow I'm going to be on a TV show, it's not the first time I've been on TV, but it takes a lot to prepare to be in a celebrity chef, you know? So let's go to the station, Afro Tame down in Orlando, i see you and I'll tell you everything on its way. While we go, let's go. Let's go! This company that contacted me just recently, they want to deliver fresh produce, eggs, herbs, and all that type of stuff. I'm down for it because the better the ingredients, the better the food comes out. You know what I'm saying? His requirement was they had to do a credit check. I would do it, but right now I'm in the stages of building and I don't want my credit ran. I'm building my business credit which is very important. You don't want to use your cash for things. For things. I was going to say stuff, stings. <laughs> there is a huge business behind being a celebrity chef. Uh, multiple streams of income, because I'm not working a regular job, nor am I living check to check because the, the income is there, and that's something else you have to establish within yourself. So how do you do that, chef? Okay, I'm glad you asked. You have to uh, reach deep down inside and look at all your talents and gifts and develop them into a stream of income. Yeah, basically. Funny story is, when I got diagnosed with kidney failure, I had no idea what I was gonna do with my time. I gotta do something. I can't live like this, state of mind. Remember that. And so, um, somebody said to me, why don't you start your own catering business? I was like, what? I had no idea that I was gonna do this full time. If you look at my life as a bird, in a bird's view, a bird's eye view, you know I love to serve. I'm a servant at heart. I love helping people. I love serving people. So, I, you know, working in the emergency room, Mount Sinai Hospital, New York City, it's dope. I mean, like, I was really helping save lives. I heard from God, moved to Florida. I was working at a familiar hospital out here in Florida. Uh, needless to say the name. And so, the difference between New York and here was like the the healthcare system was like totally different, and and I missed New York, and so working out here was like eh, I'm not sure if this is for me. I'm not saving as much lives as I used to in New York. I think out here is more of a numbers game, and and it's not really about the healthcare. My opinion, my opinion is not a fact. Know that. So. I prayed to God. I was like, God, if you could just take me out of this somehow, some way. And then I saw an opening, like my boy, Chef Freddie at the, um, the Grand Bohemian Hotel posted it on Facebook um, that there was an opening. I was like, eh, why not? I'm gonna give it a try. Never worked in the industry. I mean, I worked at like the Jacob Javis Center in New York preparing food. I worked at Red Lobster prepping food. I was a server, but never to this extent of the Grand Bohemian Hotel. Four star hotel, okay? So I said, let me give it a try. I got the job, man. And so I gave my resignation at the emergency room. I couldn't wait, I was ecstatic. And it was there at the Grand Bohemian Hotel, working the line, sauteing. A pantry. I couldn't work the grill. Big respect to Rasta. It was there is where I defined what kind of chef I wanted to be. Fine dining. I don't want to be a caterer. Um, I wanted to do fine dining. So I worked at the Grand Bohemian. I think it was going on a year and COVID happened. I'm going to tell you how God works. February. Now I wasn't popular out here. I'm not from Florida, but I moved to Florida. Uh, just like Abraham, God told Abraham to pack up everything that he had and go to this unfamiliar territory. And so I did, trusting in God, right? So business is very slow for me. It's still a side hustle. Business is very slow. Um, not many people know. I'm trying to give away my services for free to get known out here, like to get business. And I was struggling. Then LaRon called me. LaRon is a retired NFL player. 
Now he's like a recruiter for the Wizards. He called me. He was like, Chef, I'm going to hire you for Valentine's Day. You know, I'm in the hotel business, and it's very hard to get away uh, on a holiday. And I said, you know, I really want to do it, but it's hard for me to get away from my job on a holiday. And LeBron said to me on the phone, he said, yo, I, I'm telling you, you do this, and God's going to open up doors for you. I was like, what? What? So I said to him, you know what? I'm going to do it. I told my job. I gave them like um, a few weeks in advance. They told me I can't do it, blah, blah, blah. This is where the enemy creeps in at. They told me not to, or else they'll give me a, a final warning, which means I've never got written up, but you're going to give me a final warning? What? All right, boom. They wrote me up with a final warning. They already hired somebody to help that day, right? And so when I did that job and Alicia posted me, posted me on her social media, it was like, ah! it was like all doors opened up, yo. It was like business was starting. Like God says, look what I got for you. COVID happened. Shut down everything. Shut down the world. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So I started my business legitimately. Legitimately. Um, IRS, tax, state of Florida, everything is legit. And since the COVID happened, it's been nothing but success. I've made over three, six figures each year I've been in business. Each year. Doing work for the NBA, different celebrities out here. We are here. It's going down. Afrotainment, television, down on iDrive. It's time to work. Just trying to show what we do. Yes, and this is also our Dashiki the Theater, right here. Not theater, but green screen room. Yeah. We do promotional content, etc. And here's what we'll be shooting today. Step. <laughs> He's making sure for everybody. Perfect. Hey, hi. How are you? Hello. How are you, Chef? Good at you. Good to see you. And Dan, yes. great to have you here. Yes. Are you ready? I'm, bo I'm born ready. I hear you're not competitive. I'm not a competitive type, but I said, I'm, I'm going to see what we got in here. <laughs> That's Cassandra. She's the host of the show. That's the chef right there. I'm just the host. All right. Well, how about we get over here? We got the chef and you're assisting with, oh, it smells so good in oh, here. Yeah. All right. So, chef, welcome. How it's you nice doing? to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's Appreciate an it. honor. This smells and looks oh, so good. What are we making? Uh, I can't tell you yet because okay. she's going he's looking over my. Oh head. no no! <laughs> so we have two very competitive chefs here today. Hello Instagram, how y'all doing? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! What's going on, brother? What's up, man? You, sir, you looking good? Oh, you looking good too. Sorry, right, man. You doing chilling today? Oh, y'all got a meeting today? No, no, we did, we did our show already. We're good. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. I saw you was here, so I was like, let me go say hello. This is James Young with the lowdown. What's going on, the everybody? The lowdown with James Young. This is my YouTube right here. Oh, oh YouTube? <laughs> How y'all doing, man? Hey, I'm the comedian, dog. Hey, love this guy right here. This guy makes delicious food. Kills I try. Him every I don't, single don't time. Don't say that. Don't say that. The, the comp competitors right there, don't say that. I'm going to tell him the same thing. But anyway. <laughs> Oh my gosh. How are you, James? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Y'all, James from the Lowdown is here. Yes. yes. <laughs> chef Juvon. Okay. Love, love, love him. Love him. Yes, so and we have another amazing chef in the house. Give us a shout your name over here. Terrell. Chef Terrell. Chef Terrell. Chef Terrell. Chef Terrell. Terrell. How are you doing, Terrell? Let's go. Got an amazing chef Terrell. cook off going on today. Love it. I'm love excited, it. Indeed. Love it. Indeed. I'm oh, wait. The energy in here is going to be good. What? It's going to be good. Ah! You gotta love comedians, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Let me give you some more information about what's happening here. Yes, tell me. So, we are starting out with our cooking segment right here. This is our Sisanya Chef competition um, segment right here. As soon as we're done with this segment and we decide who the winner is, we're going to have a five minute sit down chat over here. Okay. With three smaller chairs, and we're going to talk about the competition, as well as more food and what you guys are up to next. Okay, okay. heard. Fun stuff. Good Alrighty. stuff. I'll go over those questions with you a little bit shortly. Yes. Yes. Cool, cool. Well, I'll, let you, I'll let you continue doing your thing, and I'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> How you guys feeling right now? I don't really need no makeup. But I know my girl over here is going to do her thing. Yes. Right? yes. Just to keep you mad, keep you from being super shiny. Because y'all know how I like to sweat when I'm cooking. <laughs> wrapped up the Sassandra show. It was a throwdown. It was a lot of fun. I didn't, you know, um, the band was great. She's great. Koya was great. Chef right here. Those tacos was on point. The presentation was on point. Um, he's a St. Pete. You know, he's a person, personal chef, right? Yeah, personal chef. Um, he got frozen foods. Mm -hmm. oh, come on, talk about it. Be about it. Come on. Grandma's soul food. Come on. Delivery, deliver all over the U.S. Ship overnight through uh, FedEx. So, yeah. Check me out. Chef Taramani on Instagram. So that was your experience being on the show, Chef. Right, it was a lot of fun, man. I was just excitement, the energy. I was able to be myself. Nobody told me to be quiet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of fun. Check out Koya. She is an influencer. Yes, yeah, so Chef Javon actually did my first risky dinner party. Um, I partnered with the Florida Department of Health and I did this dinner party just dope. to highlight HIV and AIDS in the black community, specifically with black women. And he was our chef. Um, I had my girl Angela Yee from The Breakfast Club come down and be a part of it. So she and I hosted she it. She said her girl. He <laughs> it wasn't just Angela Yee, it was her girl. <laughs> That's my girl. You know, you know. See? Um, but yeah, and he hosted the dinner party for us. Amazing energy, always on point, top tier. And you really made that experience special for a lot of people. Appreciate so. it, appreciate it. Tell them where they can follow you up. Listen, you can follow me on YouTube since we're here. Um, you got YouTube? Koya, yes, we pop YouTube. <laughs> K-O-I-Y. Yes. Uh, K-O-I-Y, four A's on all platforms. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We'll link it below. Yeah, so Koya, we got to get you on our YouTube channel. Say less, let me know. She said say less. Yes. Next week? No, this week. Thursday? Oh, we got it on record. Let me up. Let me know. For real? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Ah, look at guy. Yeah. All right, thank For you. Sure. I'm, yes, I'm you're amazing. Hit okay. me up. I'll definitely do that. Okay. So, yeah. Excellent. It was so nice, nice meeting you. Have a great one. Thank you so much. Oh, this is nice. All right, thank you, babe. Let me know if you need me again. Yeah, let me know. Just text me. You can't, we can't leave a mess, you know what I mean? Because we bougie like that. Did you 
um, Harry, Rashida. Yeah. You do? A little interview? Rashida? Yeah. Her? All right, so we just wrap it up. Um, uh, Afrotainment, um, the Sasana Show. This is very important when it comes to being a chef or a celebrity chef, is staying in the eye of people. Um, you want to be relevant, your name wants to be, you want to make your name a household brand name where it just flows off people's tongues. Or, oh, Chef Javon, oh, yes, he with the fire. Yeah, you know, that old stuff. It's all about marketing. Everything that I did today is a part of my, yes, the whole energy is to sell yourself so that people be like, oh my God, what was that chef that was on the Sasandra show? He had all that energy. He talked about the intimate cooking show and all that. All that stuff is relevant. Everything was strategically done on purpose. So we wrapping up. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Um, got to be myself, like I said before. And that's the most important thing It's having fun. You know, it's not about, you know, competing against one another. You know, I'm all for the chef that was on the show. Ter 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 chef Terrell. He sounds amazing. He looks young. He sounds young. He's doing his thing. Um, I'm gonna definitely check out his book. Uh, we're gonna chit chat on, on Instagram. So, you know, that's what it's all about. He's not my enemy. He's a fellow chef. He's doing his thing. And we can learn, we can always learn from each other.